How's everybody doing today? Alfred Flores, CEO President of New Age Electric. So in this video we're going to talk about master job and sub jobs. This is pretty simplistic. If you ever, if you haven't done this before it's not uh, very difficult but it is a good, um, good piece of knowledge to have. So let's say for example you got a big high rise and um, for instance we're in Chicago so got new high rise going up 60 floors and you know it could be like 10 different systems and can't tack it by yourself so you're gonna acquire five more estimators to take this off and you're potentially the chief estimator or the head estimator for the department and we need to start distributing files to each person and then in the end what we're gonna do is we're gonna merge them together to create uh, one job but we could still have five independent jobs for any kind of add addendums and whatnot. So let's jump right into it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a sub job. So you want to first click job, create sub job. And then we're, I'm just going to name this something along my naming scheme, 73. And then I'm just going to call it uh, Chicago. I rise. Okay, so in here you have a, a number uh, suffix. So it's the same thing as up here, but the problem with the program is you can't name it the exact same number because it's you're basically recreating, uh, oh, not recreating, but creating a new bid x amount of times on top of the master. So you could be creative you could just put you know like point one and then for each one just make a sequential order I'm gonna put um, two three four and I'm just gonna do that and then you could just call it the same thing here and you could say um, fixtures so I'm gonna copy this that way you assign it to the right person and call it you know this is what you're doing say this is fire alarm and then let's see this is teledata and then we'll just say this is a just based on this okay so you're gonna see your folder is my folder that's a designation where all my bids are but if you have multiple estimators and everybody has their own independent uh, takeoffs, you could go to browse and assign it in there. And then that way, um, when they pop up in their AccuBid, they see that they have a, now a sub uh, project. And then you send an email and say, hey, I need you to start taking off uh, the fire alarm. You know, we got like two weeks to do the fire alarm for the high rise. Uh, so after that, if you want, if you have any other options you want them to include, you can include typicals and whatnot. I don't have anything in there, so you can either check it or uncheck it. Now, if you do this right, it will it will go through with no errors. All right, so I have a, a master job now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you'll see it's master job is in use, and then now that is designated by M for master, and then you got the S's for subs. You'll see that it's basically a total of five individual files for sub files, point one, point two, point three, point four. All right, want to jump back in it now, and we're gonna do this really quick because it, it's not. It, it, it only works when not only works but it, it makes sense when you got takeoffs built into this so I'm I'm gonna say the master uh, was I don't know just something that along that I'm gonna say feeders right actually I'm gonna go to feeders just gonna pick something along we're gonna do you know 
20,000 feet so you could see what it's doing. Right? Now, this is for the master only, right? So I'm going to get out of this now. And, oh, I forgot to do a save as on here, so I apologize. Ooh. So if, if you wanted to, you could just go like this, copy this, go in here, and just say feeders. And then this is the, the main file for this now, so... You don't have to put, you could just leave it as is, or you could change these numbers, however you want to do it. All right, so I'm going to go in here, and this is fixtures now, right? So this is subcontract for fixtures. I'm just going to do F1 just to show you, and okay. I'm not putting anything in here, so designation fixtures is fine. 20,000. And then we're just going to assign some money to it. Say $350 each. We have some labor. We have some material now. Okay. Save this. Actually, it's going to go to the bottom now because I gave it a number. All right. So now we're going to go to fire alarm. And we'll talk about adding subcontractor cost right after this. Fire alarm. We'll say devices. That's as far as I'll go for devices. Uh, fire alarm devices. Let's see, there's a thousand of those. All right, I'm just gonna save that. Teledata. Just put something where it has some meat in there. Twenty thousand locations. So you'll see there's twenty thousand locations in there. Okay, now we'll go to the last one. AV. Let's see what we got built in for AV. We'll just put some sound and PA, and we'll just put. Uh, speakers or something 10,000 speakers okay now remember this is four individual projects that are linked to the master project right so now we're going to jump into the master I'm going to show you something before we do anything there is only the feeders I took off on here, right? Now, job is going on and whatnot. The estimator says, hey, I want to start looking at your stuff without you um, having to get out and stop what you're doing. We want to merge these together. You want to hit job, and it's going to be an enhanced merge. Now, this screen is showing you everything that is linked to the master file. You can slide this over, make sure you know what you're doing. You're going to merge the fixtures, the fire alarm, teledata, and the AV all under this project number. And you have the option of comprehensive breakdown merge, comprehension typical break. You're going to select all these because you want to make sure everything is wrong in there. Now, I'll show you what's not being wrong in there, but. This is what you're going to do next. You're going to hit merge. I'm telling you you're about to merge the four jobs. Do you want to continue? Yes. And you're done. So it, it, if you go down here, it's going to tell you everything that it did. So for each job, you got a successful. So successful, this. So the first one, it's saying the labors. Temporary assemblies, nodes, designations, any empty designations, and takeoffs. So that would be one job, next one, two jobs, three jobs, four jobs. So everything was successful, you should be fine. Hit exit. Now you see everything was brought in from all four jobs, including your master. Now the sad part about this, which they fixed 
and I believe they fixed an Enterprise, which is a little bit different, where it basically everybody can work from the same job versus uh, you know mixing the jobs, uh, merging the jobs together. The only part is, sorry, I had to take a, a breather for a second. Um, so the the downside to this is that if you do plug in anything from my experience there's it, it doesn't grab anything from the other jobs when it comes to these other tabs uh, i i can't figure it out i don't think it does it but unfortunately you have to manually uh put them in here so your fire alarm quotes your teledata quotes your structural cabling quotes if you have to if, if you don't have these trades in-house you fortunately you're gonna have to put it in here um but it's it's kind of a good thing kind of a not a good thing but as a as a as a you know if you're an estimator like a, the chief estimate head guy you're gonna want to go over all these quotes anyway and manually plug them in so you're kind of aware of what you're plugging in what what the person is carrying and whatnot um so it, it might be designed for that way too because you you just want to make sure what you're plugging in is correct and the, the correct quote got everything that's needed for the job or you need to know any kind of inclusion and exclusions on it i know that could be one of the things but it, it, it's a it is a downside yes all right so before we end this there is one thing you need to turn so you're probably thinking okay well what happens if they're changing stuff and they're going well here, here's the thing so if I come over here and I say there's an addendum for the fire alarm only so I'm gonna double click this and we're gonna say they changed um, not changed but they added and I'm gonna start mixing some stuff up here I'm gonna put a strobe say I had 5,000 strobes or something right Saved it. Go back. Now we want to go back into the sub uh, master con uh, master project. Hit continue. So now you're going to see one or more sub jobs which have probably been merged, have been modified, or needed to be remerged. So it's telling you that somebody went in there, somebody changed something, deleted, added, whatever the case may be. So we need to remerge this. Do the same thing again. Job enhance merge, and you can see that that one job was changed and it's checked. We're gonna hit merge, and it's telling you that when merging sub jobs into a master job, previously merged takeoffs will be replaced. So keep in mind if you happen to change anything, meaning anything in the assemblies that may have altered the counts or or the labor or anything like that it's going to override it because you're bringing this back in again with the changes if that doesn't make sense leave a comment but again if you manipulated anything in here all you're doing is bringing the sub jobs info in here so if you changed any labor or quantities the program doesn't know that you're doing that because the fact that that's why you created sub job uh, sub jobs that's why you're doing that so you're gonna hit yes it's gonna show you successful for everything exit so now we go in here there should be strobes now so there there's the strobes um yeah so that's about it, it it's pretty uh simplistic just keep in mind that you know when you're taking off stuff don't change anything in here um, you know in the takeoff so if I go to fire alarm and we'll, we'll talk about this one more time so if I go in here don't go in here and start adding stuff because if the job is not finalized and your other person who was doing the fire alarm and the sub job had to add a bunch of stuff everything you did right in the master now is gonna be overwritten um, it, it's the downside, but like I was saying, I think 
if I remember right, in Enterprise, they fixed that where it's like everybody works from a central file now versus having sub-files. Um, I don't know. I never really got into that. But if you ever need to do this, it's, it's still a really cool way to do it. It's more efficient if you got five estimators on a job and you're the main one, so that's six, so you could just make, you know, five sub-jobs. Uh, once again, Alfred Flores, CEO, President of New Age Electric. Click the subscribe if you haven't. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you again.